Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. Today we are going to see a very interesting project which is count and pack application using PLC. So let us understand its problem definition. First of all, as you can see, I have created one HMI screen and here you can see this is a control panel. So when the user will press this start button, the sub conveyor Y0 it will start moving so this is the conveyor from here the products will come now from this control panel you can set the number of products you want to pack in one box so from here you can set it after that when the product will pass through this conveyor this x2 sensor will sense the product and it will increment the current value of counter Finally, when the current value of counter will become equal to the set count set by user, then sub conveyor Y0 will stop. So you can see the conveyor is stop over here. Now what will happen? This is the packing machine which has two outputs Y2 and Y3. So these are the pneumatic cylinders. This will be activated. So what is the operation of packing machine? First of all, by one output y2 we will energize two cylinders in this direction this cylinder will move in this direction and this cylinder will move in this direction when this both cylinder reach to its final position it will retract back to original position and at that time this output y3 will on and this cylinder will advance in this direction Finally, when the packing is completed, so what will happen? This main conveyor will start, which will move the packed box in forward direction. After that, whenever the new empty box will arrive at this position, it will be sensed by X3 sensor. So what it will do? It will stop our main conveyor and it will reset our counter. And then process will start from this stage. So this was all about our problem definition. For simplicity, we have assumed the following mechanism to pack the box. As you can see over here, I have taken two boxes. So first, as I shown over here, the Y2 cylinders will be activated. So here you can see this Y2 cylinders, what it will do? It will close these two sides of the box. After that, it will retract back to original position and then Y3 cylinder will push this side of box and so it will close the box and in this way the box will be closed or we can say pack. Now friends let us understand the hardware wiring required to create this project. So first of all we will understand the input wiring. So we have only two inputs start and stop uh, because the value of counter that we will take from HMI. So what we will do, here you can see these are the digital inputs. So in the source sync, this is a one kind of common of inputs. Here we will connect the ground terminal of our SMPS. Now we will take the 24 volt supply and connect it to one terminal of each start button and stop button. Now another terminal of start button, we will connect it to X0 position. And another terminal of stop button we will connect it to x1 position so you have to remember this while doing programming now let us understand the output wiring so total we have four outputs two for conveyor and two for packing machine so first of all let us understand the output of conveyor conveyors are motors and that cannot be on off directly from plc we have to use starter and in the starter there is contactor so the contactors are energized by relay and the relay is energized by the plc output so first of all let us understand the output circuit of this relay so in the common terminal of both relays we will connect 230 volt ac supply now no terminal of the first relay we will connect it to one terminal of contactor similarly NO terminal of another relay we will connect it to 
one terminal of main conveyor contactor and the other terminal of both contactor we will connect it to neutral so for example if this relay is on then common and no will be closed and this will give supply to this contactor and this contactor will be energized and so the sub conveyor motor will on similarly here if this relay is on then its common and no terminal will become closed and it will give 230 volt supply to this contactor so it will energize and it will turn on main conveyor now let us understand the input wiring of this relay so in the one terminal of each relay here you can see this and this terminal we will connect 24 volt supply now another terminal of relay 1 that we will connect it to y0 position and another terminal of this relay we will connect it to y1 position so what it will do if y0 is on then relay 1 will be on but how that you can see from here in the common we have connected the ground of smps so when the y0 is on it will provide a path from this to common so this common will be provided from here to here and now this relay will get 24 volt supply from here and 0 volt common from this y0 to this common in this way this relay will be on similarly if the y1 is on then this common will be connected to y1 position so this y1 will provide common over here and then this relay will get 24 volt from here and common from here and this relay will get energized now here you can see there are three solenoid valves or three pneumatic cylinders which are used for packing machine so for packing machine i have used two outputs y2 and y3 if y2 is on from that single output i want to advance two cylinders y2 terminal to two solenoid valves like this and it's another terminal i have connected to 24 volt supply and similarly y3 is connected to solenoid valve 3 and it's another terminal is connected to 24 volt supply so now what will happen if y2 is on this two solenoid valve will become on and that particular cylinder will advance and if the y2 is off this solenoid will become off and cylinder will retract back same operation will occur in solenoid wall 3 let us understand the logic required to create this project first of all we will make one latching circuit for output m0 which is internal relay by using input x0 start button and x1 stop button so what it will do m0 bit will be used in further programming to know whether the process is on or off okay so after that what we will do write one code in which we will check whether the process is on or not that means m0 is on or not after that we will check whether the counter c0 is completed or not if the process is on and counting is not completed then our output y0 that is the sub conveyor this should be on okay now the products will pass through the conveyor so x2 sensor will sense and give pulse to the counter when the product will pass through this sensor it will generate the rising h pulse which will be given to counter so counter value will increase accordingly now when the counting is completed that means the set count given by user and the present count generated by x2 sensor becomes equal then what should happen our sub conveyor motor should be off and our packing machine should start and particularly y2 should turn on so what will happen cylinders will advance now when the cylinders reach to their final position it should retract back to original position and at this time what should happen y3 cylinder should advance so in the code we will write if y2 becomes off then y3 become on similarly when y3 reach to its 
final position and retracts back to original position at this time what should happen main conveyor should start so again here what we will do we will use the falling edge of y3 so when y3 will go from on state to off state there will be falling edge so in this way we will detect that y3 is off and this falling edge we will use to start the main conveyor y1 it will be on so it will be on until the new empty box is arrived which will be sensed by x3 sensors so if there is the pulse in the x3 sensor this pulse will be used to stop the main conveyor so main conveyor will stop and it also resets the counter so that the process can start from step number 2 over here sub conveyor will start and again products will be sensed by x2 sensor and so on so this was the logic to create this project let us start its programming so i will open my isp soft software from here let us click on new button confirm yes let us write our project name okay so first of all we will write device command for each item so double click over it and the box will open so x0 is our start button x1 is our stop button x2 is our product sensor the x3 is our box empty box sensor so i will just write box sensor now we have four outputs y0 is our sub conveyor y1 is our main conveyor y2 that is our cylinder y2 so here I also i will write cylinder only here i will write just m0 is to let so here i will only write from m0 we will check whether the process is on or not so here i will write process on or off now we have used counter c0 so c0 is used to know the present count so here i will write present count and d0 we have used to get value from user so here i will write set count so we have written all of the comments just close this box now click on program function right click on it and click on new again click okay over here just maximize this we will write the network comment over here so our first step in the logic was to create a latching circuit so here i will just write is enter so what is the latching circuit it consists of start button stop button output and here we will latch output so let us select contacts from here we want total two in series and one in parallel like this now select output coil and click over here this kind of network is called the latching network now we will write address to each item so here i will write x04 start button this is our output m0 which we want to latch this is our x1 stop button and this is again our output m0 internal relay okay so in further programming to check the system is on or off we will just use this m0 bit now insert a network from here 
what was the second step in our logic to start the sub conveyor so here i will write start sub conveyor press enter when sub conveyor should start so first of all let us select the output coil from here and write its address which is y0 when this should be start if the process is on okay so select the contact from here right here m0 if the process is on then sub conveyor should start but what is the another condition that is counting should not be completed so again select a contact from here right click now we will use the nc of c0 so what will happen if the counting is completed then c0 bit will be on but if the counting is not completed then c0 bit will be off so what we want to check if the c0 is off then our sub conveyor should start now again insert a network from here after that what was the third step in our logic sense the product and increase the present count press enter so we will use x2 sensor to give pulse to the counter so select the contact from here click on this and give its address x2 enter you want to use its rising edge so again double click over it and select the rising edge from here now here we want one counter so go to functions select all types and right over here c and t this is the mnemonics for counter you have to remember this and click on insert button so you can see our counter block is inserted in the first box that is the s1 we have to write the counter number so we have used counter c0 here we have to write the preset value of counter but we want to get this value from user so here we will use data register so i am going to use data register d0 so whatever the value user will store in d0 up to that value this counter will count and then c0 will be on when it count up to d0 now insert a network from here what was the fourth step when the counting is completed packing machine should start so here we will write in network comment start packing machine y2 cylinder press enter so when set count given by user and the present count will become equal this c0 will on if the c0 is on it will off this conveyor because c0 bit is on then its nc will become open and sub conveyor will be stop after that what should happen select a coil from here here we will write c0 and we will use it using edge what we want to do we want to turn on our solenoid valve y2 so select output coil from here its address y2 but as you can see this is just a pulse so this y2 will not remain on for some time it will just just become on and off so we want to we have to latch this so for that select the contact from here here i will latch it by itself so here again i will write y2 but why i have created this because i also want to stop this by our m0 bit so select a contact from here want to enter one series block now here i will write m0 why i have used this because if we press the stop button then m0 will be off and if the m0 is off it will cut supply and y2 will become off now one thing we need to understand then in actual actual applications in industry we use limit switch or read switch to detect the position of cylinder that means 
if the cylinder has reached to its final position or not and then through that limit switch or read switch we close this cylinder but in our process what we are going to do we will use the feedback from hmi programming only we will write one code in hmi which will give us feedback that y2 is reached to its final value so that hmi code will turn off this y2 now similarly we will write a code for cylinder y3 so insert a network from here here i will write center when y3 should on when y2 becomes off so when y2 change from on state to off state there will be falling edge so we will use the falling edge of y2 what we want in output we want output y3 so here i will write y3 again we will latch it by itself so select contact make in parallel here also we will write y3 again here if the stop button is pressed m0 will stop and it will stop the cylinder so if the process is all off then it should also become off so here this is the process of packing is completed so here also when the y3 reaches to its final position it should become off and come back to original position so this thing also we will do through hmi code macro code now again insert network from here so when this packing is completed we want our main conveyor to start so here i will write start main conveyor press enter so first of all let us uh, select output coil and uh, give its address y1 that is our main conveyor when this main conveyor should start when the packing is completed and when the packing is completed when y3 cylinder come back to original position that means it is off so again when it will be go from on state to off state there will be a falling edge so again we will use a falling edge of y3 to start the main conveyor so here i will write y3 and here we will use its falling edge so in this condition main conveyor will on again we will use m0 bit but before that let us latch this so connect one parallel no contact of y1 itself so this will become latch now we want to stop this so to stop this there are two conditions first the obviously this m0 bit so let us insert this the process is off main conveyor should become off okay what is the another condition so as discussed in the logic when the new empty box is arrived at that time this main conveyor should be off so for that we have used x3 sensor x3 box sensor so what we will do we will select one nc block and select nc from here so what it will happen you can understand it from stop button so for a moment we press the stop button so that nc loses its continuity so process is off similarly here if the box will sensed from x3 sensor sensor will on so this nc will become off and it will off our main conveyor now again insert a network from here finally what we want to do if the main conveyor is off so here our process is completed so once the process is completed we want to reset our counter so here i will write reset counter so that the process can start from beginning so when the counter should be reset when main conveyor is off because 
uh, empty box is arrived so now main conveyor belt of and process should be started from beginning again we will use the falling edge of y1 when y1 becomes on to off there will be falling edge if this falling edge is detected our counter c0 should be resetted so here i will select reset okay now what is the another condition to reset this counter so let us come to this point for example counter has completed its counting that means for example i have selected 5 in d0 so when value of counter will become 5 counter will become on okay and its value is 5 in this condition packing machine will start but due to some reason if i press the stop button then m0 will be stop m0 will be off and from here it will of this y2 and the all process below this won't run now again when i will press this start button but my sub conveyor will not start why because value of counter is 5 counter bit is on counter bit is on that means its nc will be off so this will not let y0 to start so it is necessary when the stop button is pressed or the system goes from on state to off state our counter should be resetted so here what i will do i will connect one parallel block to this to reset this counter because there are two conditions first condition is when the main conveyor is off then counter should be resetted or whole process is off then main counter should be resetted so select the contact and throw a parallel contact to this and write over here m0 and i will use the nc over here now we, you will have a doubt that in all here we have used the no terminal of m0 but here i am using the nc of m0 why because here if the process is off m0 is off i want to cut the supply okay but here if the m0 is off I want supply over here because if here will be supply then it will reset so here I want supply that's why I am using NC over here so friends here in the stop button I forget to make it NC so let us make this NC so friends this is all about the ladder programming for this count and pick application its simulation and HMI designing we will see in the another part of this topic till then if you want to learn more examples like this watch our channel automationcommunity.com and instrumentation tools and show your interest by liking and subscribing it